if we are going to be involved in initiatives like this, should we be cutting off? Well, that horses? was certainly one of the papers, wasn't it, about the Strategic Defence Review yes. and the, well, and yeah. the yeah. sustainability I mean, the of cutting the other the interesting Harriet. thing is that Barack Obama has withdrawn US um, strike mm -hmm. uh, aircraft now, and they're just providing logistical support, which means that we've upped our aircraft from eight till twelve. Twelve tornadoes are involved in, the, in this now. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder. Well, because I, I, I read the no, I read, I read the papers. I've been, I've been covering it on my show tonight. That's the only reason. Right. <laughs> should we should we stop him there? Because I think he did an hour on it. So that's uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there by the grace of God. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's move on to uh, the Times. What they call Blackpool's secret. What is it? Yes, um, it's been exposed in the Times that more than 60 schoolgirls in Blackpool have been groomed for sex by men working in um, takeaway food outlets which, you know, I mean, they're being exploited in return for food, alcohol and cigarettes. Um, I mean, there's not really much more to say than that, than that there's sort of this sexual exploitation world in, in Blackpool. Mm. And it's just tragic. Do you wonder if it's, if it's in Blackpool, it's presumably in other places too. I mean, this sort of thing must happen elsewhere. It's not, can't just be Blackpool where it, where it happens. Mm. Um, I mean, it's unusual actually to have a story like this on the front page of the Times. Um, it's not the kind of story that they normally go I for. Mean, it's, yeah, it's difficult to know what to say on it other than, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's terrible and it's great that it's been exposed, but, you know. Mm. Well, I suppose she they... says drying up. Well, no, I suppose in terms of the, um, the detail, they're quoting an unpublished police report recording that more than 60 Blackpool girls aged from 13 to 15 had been groomed or sexually abused by non-white adult males connected with a cluster of town centre takeaway premises, mm. which they call honeypots. The exploitation included the commercial exchange of money, food, shelter and gifts for the provision of sexual acts. Young people were being groomed and sexually assaulted both inside and outside of premises by a number of takeaway owners and workers. So mm. that's as far as the accusations go, I guess. Mm. And, uh, you know, as you don't said, go for a takeaway in Blackpool. Well, we don't want to condemn <laughs> all of them. <laughs> exactly. We will hopefully find out more details of that one and, uh, and you can happily go and buy your fish I've and chips. i just thought of a very inappropriate <laughs> joke then, but really? kept it to myself. Well, good. <laughs> no doubt you will Twitter it later. <laughs> You as know. you all want to do. Um, let's move on to the FT, shall we? Portugal, here we go, more money. Yeah, and this is not a joke, believe no. you me, because Portugal has, is now asking for a bailout because its economy has hit the buffers, they've got no more money left, and they're following in Greece's yeah. footsteps and Ireland's footsteps. Yeah. Now, Britain has an interesting decision to take here because Portugal is actually our oldest ally. Um, so there will be a lot of people who think, well, we should support them. We've given, we've lent Ireland £7 billion and a lot of people are thinking, well, if we've got £7 billion lying around, how come we're having all of these cuts? So we're going to be asked probably for a similar sum for Portugal. Do you Portugal. think it'd be that much? I thought, I I, thought no, the I th £7 billion was extra because Ireland is a very important trading ally. Portugal is, is a bigger country than, okay. than Ireland and I think from the figures that I saw a couple of weeks ago when this was first mooted, it's, it's around that mark, okay. it may, may not be exactly. Mm -hmm. But there are going to be many Tory backbenchers, Bill Cash being one of them, who's already expressed his opposition. Mr. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, exactly, he would, wouldn't he? But, I mean, they're all against the EU. Um, but it, it's going to be very interesting to see the reaction of, of sort of senior politicians mm. on this and to see what, what, the, what the government think and indeed what the Labour Party think. Um, I'm sort of in two minds on this and I think, I mean, Portugal is a key ally of this country. If we can help, we ought to. Yeah. But can we really afford to keep bailing out other countries when they encounter well, we this sort of difficulty? Well, we have to remember how started, don't we? That well, it these started countries... because these countries went into the euro. Well, no, these countries bailed out their own banks, so private debt became public debt. Now mm. we're bailing out the public debt. That's but, where it really stems from. It's not about but also, the eurozone or not. Well, it's, it, it kind it? of is about the eurozone because if these countries hadn't been in the euro and they we wouldn't be able, obliged to help them. Had, well, no, not just that, but they would have been able to control to control their own economy, control their own interest rates. They can't do that because they're controlled by the European. Central Bank. So I do think the Eurozone countries have more of a responsibility than we do, but I'm not one of those who says that we should just turn our eyes yeah. against them. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's move on to the NHS, shall we? It's in the Daily Mail. Our mistake on reform of the NHS by Cameron. What exactly is he admitting was the... Uh was the error. It's right at the top on the, uh, the right-hand side there. Yes, I mean, today it's been all over the bulletins. He's been down in Surrey with, um, with Nick Clegg and um, 
Andrew, Andrew Lansley. Lansley putting on a show of unity that all the government are united on this. But this story here in the mail basically exposes the fact that a lot of Tory backbenchers are very cross with Nick Clegg because you know not he was for the first time. Not for the first time. <laughs> but because he was originally championing the NHS reforms and now he's trying to distance himself from them. Uh, quite rightly in my view. But we, um, we have to remember that Nick Clegg um, has said uh, he, that the Lib Dems are the primary critics of primary care trusts before the election and they're pledged to scrap them. And yet now he seems to be resiling on that. When the going gets tough, the Lib Dems get Doing going. Turn. That yeah. seems no, to be the true. message here. It's very true. I why, is, why is all the fire being aimed at Nick Clegg, though? It's Andrew Lansley who had to stand up in the Commons and say, pause, listen, pause, listen yeah. endlessly, or, as we heard them do today. Well, I think there's just a, an antipathy towards the Liberal Democrats amongst some of the Tories but, for but portraying it, themselves but as the But the point break. is they're becoming the whipping boy, then, yes, aren't they? Yes, indeed. It seem they are. It's necessarily fair in every circumstance. And, and it was always going to be thus in, in, in some ways, because in every government department, one of the... One of the brilliant things that the Tories managed to do in the coalition negotiations was to agree to the Liberal Democrat request to have a minister in each department. And of course, the Tories thought, excellent, because we can tie them into every single decision. <laughs> so there is a Lib Dem health minister, Paul Burstow, the Minister for Public Health. Yeah. He will have been party to all of these decisions. But I do think it's seen as Andrew Lansley's pet project. I mean, he's been the, the shadow minister well, for seven well, years, I think, I think he's had the brief. One of the um, and they're running into huge trouble now. And it, thank goodness that they're going to pause on it. But, but they're running into just... trouble of their own making, I'm afraid, oh, because there has been this bickering between Number 10 mm -hmm. and the Department